Everybody knows that the most important muscle in CrossFit is biceps. That's right guys, it's time for a pump sesh. So again, we'll take you guys through the warm-up, the strength portion, and the most important part, the pump sesh. All right, Sean, take it away. All right, guys, so uh, we've had a pretty tough week so far, so we thought we'd back it down, get a little pump session uh, before we hit it hard again on Friday. So what we're going to be looking at today, for starters, our warm-up. The way this warm-up is going to work is you start with number two, so two walkouts, two burpees, then 15 jumping squats. Then we move to four. Four walkouts, four burpees, 15 jumping squats. And then six, eight, and 10. After 10, yes, you do have to do 15 jumping squats. That'll be our warm up. Get that blood pumping a little bit. After our warm up, our strength today, this is gonna be done in the format of a superset, and we're doing five working sets. We're gonna be starting with our dumbbell or kettlebell row, 10 to 15 reps on each side. So you do 10 or 15 on one side, 10 to 15 on the other side. So some of you guys, uh, you guys all have a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Some of you guys will be a little bit heavier for you than others. So if that weight is gonna be pretty heavy by 10 reps, that's fine, cut yourself off there. If the weight's not too bad, push it right up to the 15 if you can. All right, so that's 10 or 15 one side, 10 or 15 on the other side. Immediately after your dumbbell row, we're moving into our push-ups. For the push-ups, you're going to be uh, working with between 10 to 20 reps. Again, same thing. If you're pretty strong with push-ups and you can do 20 each round, do 20 each round. If push-ups are a little bit more challenging for you, you can do, uh, stick with the sets of 10 or somewhere in between. All right, the way you do this is you do your row, immediately followed by your push-ups, then you give yourself about a 90 second to two minute rest before moving into round two of your row and then the push-ups and so on. So five working sets on the strength here. After that, for our pump sets, we're gonna be working our arms today. Bicep curls, we're gonna be doing sets of 10, and we're gonna be supersetting again with tricep extensions, and we're gonna be working sets of 10 to 15 reps on our tricep extension. Again, we're gonna do five sets. Again, it's in a superset, so after your set of tricep extensions, you can give yourself about 90 seconds to two minutes rest before moving into that next round. After you finish your uh, arm pump sash, we're gonna do a little finisher of plank up-downs. With this one, you're gonna be doing 10 to 20 reps. Again, whatever you're able to manage for all your rounds. We're gonna be doing four working sets, and with this one, just about 90 seconds uh, rest in between your sets, all right? That's going to be our workout for the day. Awesome, guys. We'll see you back here in a second. We'll take you through all the movements. Gotcha. All right, guys. So just going through our, our different parts of the uh, workout here, we're going to start with the warm-up. So as I was saying, you're going to do two walkouts. So again, going over the walkout, we're starting from standing. We're going to walk our hands out into a push-up position, do our push-up, and then walk ourselves back in right to standing. So that is one rep on our walkout. Now, if push-ups are still a little advanced for you, the way we can scale this down is we can walk our hands out, put our knees to the ground, do our push-up, back up to our toes, and then walk our hands back in. So we start with two of those walkouts. After the two walkouts, we're gonna go into two burpees. Hands go to the floor, chest goes to the floor, and then up and jump tall. Two burpees. After his two burpees, he's going to do 15 jumping squats. So we're dropping down and just getting a little bit of elevation off the floor. I'm not so worried about how high you're jumping, just that we are building enough explosiveness to leave the floor a little bit. Okay? With those, we're still looking for good form as you drop down into the squat, keeping that even pressure on your foot, still looking for good squats. All right, so you do two uh, walkouts, two burpees, 15 jumping squats, then four, four, 15, all the way up. After that, for our strength, we're going to be doing a superset of dumbbell or kettlebell row, and we're going to be setting that with push-ups. So we're going to have this chair out here. You can use a chair or a couch or bench or whatever you have available in order to have support for the upper body. In our positioning here, we're thinking about keeping our back uh, as close to parallel with the floor as we can, and then we're going to draw our elbow up and back and pull that dumbbell up towards the hip, really trying to feel this up here in the back. So up at the top, a little squeeze at the top, a little reach at the bottom. 10 to 15 on one side, 10 to 15 on the other side. 
Immediately after you finish your set of dumbbell rows on either side, you're going to do your set of push-ups. For the push-ups, we're going chest all the way down to the floor, touch the floor, all the way up to locked out arms. Those are our push-ups. And again, if you need to scale back to knee push-ups, you can do that if need be. So with the knee push-ups, we're thinking about keeping that hip totally straight, just teetering on those knees, bringing the chest down in contact with the floor, up to locked out arms. Okay, so five working sets. You do your rows, you go directly into your push-ups, then you take about 90 seconds to two minutes rest before you go into your next set. Five sets. After that, we have another five sets on our arm pump here. Pump, pump, pump. Starting with curls, all right? So with our curls, we're doing sets of 10. The way we're doing these is we're gonna do a one count up, so one, and then a five count down. One, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, three, four, five three, and so on, up to 10 reps, all right? One up, five down. After you, and you can do the same thing with your kettlebell, curling up, back down. Just holding on to the handles there, okay? Uh, for our tricep extension, we're gonna be doing this again immediately after our bicep curls. We're gonna be doing these seated, and the way we're gonna load it, we start on the leg, we move the weight to the shoulder, we position our hands, ready to go overhead, over the back of our head. Now we're thinking about keeping the body locked tight, the upper arm locked in place, and only that forearm moving as that weight drops down behind your neck and then up to full extension. Okay, 10 to 15 reps on that. After you finish your tricep extension, and you can do the same thing with the kettlebell, up to the shoulder, over the head, and back and down. After you finish your tricep extension is when you take your 90 second to two minute break before moving into your next set, starting with the curls again, followed by the triceps. We have a little finisher after that. Four sets on our plank up-downs. So we're gonna start by putting ourselves in a plank, elbows on the floor, keeping that core tight, hips up. From there, he's going to press himself up into a push-up position and then back down to his elbows again. Then he's gonna press up, but starting on the other side, and then back down to the elbows again. Sets of 10 to 20 reps on your plank up down. You only need about a 90 second rest in between these sets. You have four working sets of those. Awesome. All right, guys, that's workout number four. Enjoy the pub show. We'll see you next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Go get it.